Vinyl Ventures, gang. We got a good one for you. We're on the road at the Crossroads Music Show, and we're doing What's On Your Back. This is the Two Johns podcast. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, John, tell me what's in your bag. Well, first thing is I found uh, Jeffrey Lee Pierce's Wild Weed, Jeffrey Lee Pierce from the Gun Club. Um, I didn't have this solo album of his, so I got to have it. Um, and it wasn't too expensive. And then I got some Reckless Eric here, because uh, it's unstiff, and if it's unstiff, you know it's good. You know yeah. it's good. Uh, and then a little wild card for me, uh, Tom Fogarty, not John Fogarty. He did a few solo albums after Credence. Um, they're okay, kind of exploring, seeing what it sounds like. I don't know what it's going to sound like yet. I could have previewed it, but nah, let's let it be a surprise. Yeah, I'm, John, grab one more out. Of oh, one yeah, more. Yeah, grab right. one more. Um, well, I found a guy across the way had Soundgarden live at the Artist Den uh, sealed. Um, and the price was right, so I pulled the trigger on it. It's not the deluxe edition, but it doesn't have to be. Um, I'm happy with this one. So that's nice. That's a great. I'm in, I'm interested. I'd love. To, I didn't know about this. I'd love to hear this. I love Gun Club. Yeah, he's uh, all of his stuff after Gun Club when he's doing the solo things. Really cool. Really. Uh, he's you know, got the, a the gun. Psycho Billy kind of stuff. Oh yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Gotta like it. Yeah, Gun Club's one of those bands that you don't hear a lot of people talk about, but I love. Oh yeah, and there was, he's got one here. I think Doug has one in, uh, he's got Fire of Love in here, and, as a matter of fact. Yep. I'm, I'm selling for Doug right now, actually, because yeah. Doug, because I'm standing in front of Doug's booth, and this is what I do, but yeah. What's he want, 100 bucks on this? Yeah, I've got both the pink and the uh, other, the alternate color. Oh yeah, that's cool. I've been getting the reissues when they, when they do the, uh, the record store day reissues, yeah. or when they do the live, like live at the Hacienda Club and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Um, the record store day people have been doing a really good job of putting more gun club stuff out there that wasn't. This is good. So big fan. Awesome. Thanks, John. Yeah. Enjoy the show. All right. Scotty's listening to 45s on this little fun yeah. Columbia record player, and yeah. he's got a couple of 45s. Talk about these that you found. So. This is a, a 45, I uh, actually own the LP, really good uh, Sweet Soul record. Um, if you are familiar with that genre, you know the Whatnots. The Whatnots are one of the leaders in that area, just stellar start to finish stuff. Um, so I actually, yeah, I own this on the, the LP, but it's it's always fun to, to own it in 7 inch format as well if you're a nerd like me. So. That's cool. What are, what are the other ones you've got? Uh, these are some things that I, I didn't know. I just kind of put them on the player to, to see what they sounded like and sounded cool enough for me to buy. Um, so I'm not really familiar with either of these prior to today. So that's kind of the purpose of the portable, right? You just test before you buy. Yeah. yeah. Now, when you're looking for 45s, what are you looking for? Are you looking for soul or...? It really depends. Like, you know, my tastes are varied. Um, so yeah, I mean, I buy like rock, psychedelic rock, uh, you know, '70s funk, '80s R&B, you know, '90s dance hall, disco, whatever. So it's uh, coming to, to a show like this is, is always an adventure because you you have all of that stuff, you know. So you kind of have to limit yourself to what you, you want to buy. Otherwise, yeah, otherwise it can get a little out of hand. Um, so yeah, you keep those things in mind and you know, just try to be uh, conservative with your spending. Yeah, do you find more discoveries on 45s, unusual stuff like that? Yeah, a lot, a lot more records were made as singles only, so the, the whole 45 world is very uh, intense and overwhelming. Um, but when the mood strikes, I like to go through the 45s as well. LPs are a little bit easier to go through, but yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Awesome.